Hello and welcome to this video tutorial of Restaurant Butler from POS iOS. In this video, we're going to go to all of the basics from Restaurant Butler on the iPad. In this tutorial, we're going to see from how to open the table until processing payments. When opening Restaurant Butler, the first screen you see is the user screen. In this screen you have an overview of all your waiters that are activated and ready for use. Each user can have his own password and restriction. For example, Zong cannot edit the floor or allow payments, whereas Jan is allowed to do so. This is all set up in the manager, more particularly in the user settings, but more on that on a later tutorial. Beneath the users you will find our POS iOS bulletin board, where you can keep track of all the latest news concerning the POS iOS community. When tapping on a waiter, you will be redirected to your restaurant floor. The floor view is a representation of your restaurant floor and is fully customizable. In the manager, you can add as many floors as you like. So for example, if you have your main restaurant floor and the terrace, you can just add an extra floor and arrange it to represent your terrace floor. As you may notice, on your floor view, you will see tables in different colors. These colors are actually an indicator of your table status. For example, no color, gray. This indicates that there has not yet been an order. Keep in mind that there is a possibility that this table is already taken, but no orders have been placed yet. Then you have the table status green. These tables are tables that are already in process, where orders have already been taken. Then you have the red status. This indicates that the receipt has been printed, but the customers haven't paid yet. To take an order, simply select the ordering table by tapping it, like so. The order screen will appear showing your categories below and the products of that category, category in the left window. To see for which table you are ordering, you can refer to the table number above the receipt number. Products are ordered per category, so make sure that you are in the right category for the product you need to order. Tap on category to change the category. If the category you are looking for is not displayed, it is possible that you need to browse through your categories by swiping. You can add orders by tapping on the product button. Your selected products will appear in the receipt item list in the right window, displaying the product code, the amount ordered of the product, and the product name and the product price. Once all products have been selected and are ready to be printed, press the bar printer button to send the order with the bar products, mostly drinks, to the bar. And the kitchen printer button to send the order with the corresponding products to the kitchen. When the products have been sent and printed, your receipt items will turn from white to grey, indicating that the order was sent correctly. Once your orders have been processed and printed to the bar and the kitchen, you can return back to your table and you will see that your table is indicated green, meaning that an order has been taken for that table. Now, say your customers are asking for the bill, just tap the concerning table, press this button and your receipt will be printed out. You will notice that your table status has been turned from green to red, indicating the receipt has been printed but your customers haven't paid yet. Say your customer wishes to pay, simply tap on the concerning table, tap on the payment button here in the top right corner, and then you will see a pop-up appear, this is your payment screen. In the payment screen you will notice the following. Above you have the status box. It displays the total amount, what has already been paid and what still has to be paid. Beneath the payment status box you will see a list of your receipt items, displayed with the table, date and time. In that list you can see the products and the quantity that needs to be paid followed by the total price. Below the list you will have the payment options that you have set up in the manager. Press the payment method the customer wishes to pay with and enter the amount given by the customer. If the amount paid exceeds the original amount, the outstanding amount will be, will be given a negative number, indicating the change. When the payment is finalized, simply press the finalize button. When finalize is pressed, you will be automatically redirected to the floor view and the table status will be changed from green to grey, indicating the table is empty. When an intermediate bill is paid, you can just tap close and then you can continue with the same table. This concludes the basic video tutorial of Restaurant Butler. 
Make sure to check out all of our videos on www.posios.com.